Hi everybody, Nick Bonner with Tree Stuff. We're doing one of our daily staff trainings and today we're talking about the differences between some of the ropes that we sell in regards to rigging. At the most basic level, you have three strand rope, which comprises of three interwoven strands. There's hard lay and soft lay. Three strand rope is very traditional, it's very old. Um, it handles abrasion well and it's very stretchy. The differences between hard lay and soft lay, uh, this is hard lay rope right here. You see it, it's difficult to separate the strands strands. Um, this is a soft lay rope. The strands are easily picked. Uh, the biggest difference in use for these, uh, the soft lay is probably going to braid a little faster, but it is field spliceable without tools. You can put an eye into this in three or four minutes um, relatively easy. Um, moving up from three strand, we'll look at a solid braid 12 strand. This is Samson Arborplex. Uh, True Blue is another rope that falls into this category. This again is a very traditional arborist rigging line. Um, it's very strong, very durable. Um, it's a little hard on your hands because it's kind of bumped. Um, it, it will hockle, uh, so it, it's not going to interact with blocks and pulleys and other mechanicals as well as some of the more modern ropes. However, this is a, a, an extremely well-wearing um, and, and functional mainstay of the arborist industry. So there's a 12-strand solid braid. Uh, moving forward again, um, this is a 16 strand. This is Yale XTC Pink. 16 strand is a cover dependent rope. So it has an interior core, which serves no, no load bearing purpose. All that does is serve to keep the rope round so that it doesn't flatten out. If you've seen 16 strand eye splices, uh, many of them are done with core removed, which is why the rope will have a flat feeling towards the eye. Um, 16 strand rope is spliceable. Uh, it's extremely durable. It's used as a climbing line um, and as a rigging line, and it will handle rigging and natural crotches much better than say a 24 strand or a, a other modern rigging line. 24 strand rigging lines are gonna be what most people call bull ropes. Um, 24 strand is a double braid, so it's not core or cover dependent. The load is actually shared uh, between an interwoven core and a braided jacket. Uh, this rope is hand spliceable. Um, it's also sewable. Double braid lines uh, resist turning or torsion. Um, generally speaking, they're non-rotational. Uh, they do milk like 16 strand does, um, but these are gonna handle blocks much better. They won't hockle and twist and jam up your hardware. Personally, for me, I prefer to rig with 24, 24 strand double braid lines. However, you will need to use a block in most cases because um, they, they don't handle the abrasion as well. That's 24 strand. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We could talk, uh, we could continue and talk a little bit about the differences between nylon and polyester core. Um, you'll see nylon core in husky ropes, um, as well as in like Yale polydyne um, or any of the other stretchy bull ropes. Nylon is much stretchier than polyester, so it's gonna give the rope a little more energy absorption or elasticity or elongation, depending on what term you wanna use. Um, looking at ropes like Samson double braids. So here's a Samson. Um, the Samson, no, this is Husky. The Samson double braids uh, have a polyester core, so they're a little less stretchy, but as a result, they have a slightly lower breaking strength because the rope does not absorb quite as much energy. That's pretty much it. Um, all of our ropes are available online. You can save 7% on any order with the discount code online, O-N-L-I-N-E, and that's exclusively through the website. Thanks for watching.